What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there? I hope everyone of every zodiac sign is doing well. So we're about to get into this reading, y'all. See what it is that Spirit wants you to know. But before we get started, I am running a special on my reading. So if you are interested in a love reading, my love readings will only be $40, okay? So my love readings right now are only $40. If you're interested in a reading, my email will be in the description box below. But it is Scorpio Moon Goddess 07 at gmail.com okay all right y'all so let's start off this reading with some angel numbers and see what it is that spirit wants you to know okay so let's get into these angel messages messages for my collective what do you need them to know holy spirit all right i'm gonna take these two so we got the number 69 okay so you and your divine counterpart could be mirroring each other. So if you're on a twin flame journey, that means whatever situation or some things that you're going through right now, your twin could be going through the same thing. If you're having to end a relationship or you're being called to walk away from a person or things that no longer serve you, this could be the same thing that your divine counterpart is going through, okay? But both of these, even though you and this person are going through these things, it's helping you to be able to move forward through difficult times and be able to move forward on this journey as well. All right, we got 222. Two, two. You are making a lot of progress on your twin flame journey. There are certain stages of this journey that you can likely manifest contact with your twin in the physical plane. So if you haven't been able to physically see your divine counterpart in a long time, whether you're divine masculine or feminine, you have the power, you have the energy to be able to do this, especially once you reach a certain place on your journey here, okay? We have the number four. Now, this is a symbol of positive energy, especially if you're going through a lot of difficult times right now, you guys, okay? God is protecting and wrapping his arms around you to bring you the love and hope that you deserve here, okay? Some of us don't have family. You don't have people that you can call on when you go through things. You know, you just kind of got to weather the storm by yourself. But just know that you're not alone. Even though you may not have anyone that's physically here with you, you always got your spirits, your angel guides. I mean, your spirit guides and angels that are always here with you. You just got to call up on them, and they will be able to shed some type of love and energy in your life, okay? All right, y'all. So we're going to get into this reading. So this reading is going to be about the Ten of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini here. You could be a Gemini. Okay, so this Ten of Swords talks about a ending here. Someone could be feeling like they've hit rock bottom, like this is the lowest point that this person has gotten in their whole life, okay? Someone here may have experienced a bad outcome, and now it's time to move forward. This could be a breakup, okay? Some of you may have recently had to separate from someone, and now it's like you're kind of done giving up hope on love. All right, for some of you, this could do with some type of betrayal, being backstabbed. But the thing is, someone here didn't see this betrayal coming, okay? This can signify like the ultimate betrayal, like someone here cheating or, you know, cheating with somebody's family member or cousin or something like, or stealing from them. Like, this is the ultimate betrayal that someone here has received here, okay? Okay, so let's see what the situation is. So what is the situation, Holy Spirit, when it comes to the Ten of Swords? What is the situation when it comes to this betrayal here? Like I said, you can be a Gemini. You can be dealing with one or maybe someone in your energy is dealing with some type of betrayal here, okay? So what's the situation with this betrayal? What is the situation when it comes to this Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit? Ooh, and now somebody feel like they left out in the cold. So someone here has experienced the ultimate betrayal. And like I said, this could have been someone that, that stole from them, okay? Because we got someone here who has experienced some type of financial loss. They're struggling. They can be in poverty. 
They're insecure with themselves right now, like I said, because their finances are suffering. This can be also someone who is unemployed. Okay, so somebody could experience something. Maybe somebody got them fired, you know, or something happened here. But I feel like this had to do with a financial situation, okay? So let's look at the recent past. Some of you could be dealing with the tours, or you can be a tours. All right, so let's look at the recent past. What happened in the recent past before this person experienced this betrayal? Because, you know, there could have been some, some red flags or something that was given, and someone here could have ignored it. So let's look at the recent past. So what happened? Look at this. In the recent past, they were dealing with someone who was dishonest, someone who lied, someone who tricked them, someone who deceived them, and someone who was scheming. You guys, someone here was scheming against someone. But they were very strategic about how they were going to do this. So someone here, their whole plan was to betray this person or to steal from them or to do something. Uh, this is somebody's whole plan. And it was like whoever this person was, they was plotting and planning against. They never saw this betrayal coming here. But this whole time, this person, for some of you, they felt like they was getting away. Because you look at this person, like they looking back, you know? So they feel like whatever this lie was, whatever this betrayal was, whether they stole from somebody, whatever it was, they feel like they was getting away with this, okay? They could have ripped somebody off financially here. Hmm. Okay. So what's the current problem then? Messages for my collective. I love you guys. And remember, if you're interested in a personal right now, my love readings are only $40. All right. So what, what is the current problem? When it comes to this ten of swords, what is the current problem? When it comes to this ten of swords, Holy Spirit, the seven of pentacles. This person is looking at the long term investment. What they've invested a lot financially here, yeah. Someone here is looking at what they've invested in a situation here. Okay, whether this is love, whether this is work, but I feel like this is a love situation for some of you. This could have been business. This could have been like a business deal gone wrong or something. But someone here is looking at, at the investment. Because they, whoever this is, they invested in this person a lot financially here. But whatever they invested, like they didn't, they didn't get that payoff. And I feel like they received red flags in the past, but this is someone that ignored them. You know, they didn't, they didn't see. They didn't take a step back to see, okay, what exactly could Spirit be trying to show me or tell me about this person here, okay? Hmm. So what were the outside influences to this Ten of Swords? Messages for my collective. You can be dealing with a Taurus here. We got Heavy Taurus. We got Aquarius. And we also got Gemini. So what are the outside influences? What happened? Heartbreak. Someone here I feel like didn't. Someone here was still trying to be optimistic about someone. Even though they received these red flags. Even though they've been all up in their head. Because we got the. The Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and Three of Swords. Okay, so this gives me a lot of mental. Like someone here thought a lot about a situation or a person, you know? Well, whatever this was, they allowed this heartache and, and, and this situation to consume them, okay? Someone here could be recovering right now from a situation that they've experienced. Because remember that Ten of Swords talked about some type of heartbreak, some type of separation or a breakup here, okay? So some of y'all could be recovering from maybe breaking up from someone maybe you're trying to heal from the hurt and pain that you experienced but i feel like someone here is looking what they invested into to someone or a situation especially financially here they could have allowed a situation to consume them you know this heartbreak because especially just think about if you married to someone or you with someone they fuck around and steal from you or rip you off like that's gonna hurt you because all you want to do is genuinely help this person you know you didn't have no ill intention but they had because I feel like this is a third party that was plotting scheming against a person the whole time, you know? But it was like this person never saw this betrayal coming. So what are the hopes and fears now? Now this person's scared of brain. Someone, maybe this third party hopes this person will get it together. They played a lot of mind games. Thank you. Remember I said it was a lot of mental here with this war energy. This third party played a lot of mind games with this person. That's why they never saw this betrayal coming you know they made this person feel safe and comfortable with them you know and the whole time they was plotting and planning to rip this person off and it was financially here okay this could have been someone that married someone just for money or they was dealing with someone just for some type of financial gain here so what is going to be the outcome of this situation for my collective so we got heavy air energy 
We got air, we got heavy Taurus, and we got Libra. So what is going to be the outcome of this situation for my collective here? Eight of Swords. Someone here is not going to be able to get over this hurt and pain, or it's going to take somebody a long time. Because right now they feel trapped. They don't know what to do. They're experiencing some type of dilemma. Okay? They're unproductive. They're not doing anything. They feel powerless. I feel like this is a marriage here. Like someone here could have stole from their husband, could have stole from their wife. And it's like, this person don't know what to do now. They feel powerless in this situation because the third party played mind games with them the whole time. Sold them a whoop ticket. Made them believe they loved them and wanted to be with them and they was going to be together forever. And the whole time the third party was plotting, playing behind their back, you know, to pull a wool over their eye and, and to rob them. And this person never saw this betrayal come because they genuinely loved this person. And the third party had no love in their heart for them, okay? So let's see the signs, you guys. Let's see who this reading is about for my collective. I love you guys. If your birthday is this month, happy birthday to you. And if you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. And the love readings are only $40, okay? So we got Libra, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. Capricorn, Scorpio, and Heavy Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.